This episode of Against the Odds is brought to you by Card Kingdom. To pick up the deck and support the show, follow the link in the description box down below. All right, Against the Odds time. Playing some aggressive mining combo in modern. And we'll try this. We got Blood Moons to... Oh, dear. My... Never mind. Gonna say we have Blood Moons to slow things down, but probably not. Both cards to the bottom. Play Wooded Foothills, pass the turn. Sleight of hand for our opponent. So this might be, like, Storm. Scalding Tarn. We'll crack Wooded Foothills. Grab a Stomping Ground, tapped. Play Wooded Foothills, pass the turn. Opponent cracks it. Steam Vents, tapped. Spire Bluff for our opponent. Well, crack Wooded Foothills. Get a Forest. Forest and Blood Moon. Not even that good. Manamorphos, interesting. Definitely Storm. Manamorphos and Remand, interesting. This feels like a hard matchup. Sleight of hand for our opponent. Sleight of hand. And passes. All right, well, we get Blood Moon down. Play Drown Yard Temple. Play Blood Moon. Pass the turn. Opponent has Electromancer. Ritual. Are they actually trying to kill us here? Ritual. Oh, they have, yeah. Well, they can kill us now. They have double Manamorphos. Gives on given. Yep, that's a storm kill. If we had... Yeah, it doesn't matter what we do. I mean, we can mill the two rituals, but it doesn't matter. Our opponent just manamorphoses. Yep, adds a mana. And, we, yep, rituals, rituals. Yeah, we're dead. But it's essentially impossible they can fizzle because they have gifts. Actually, I'm just going to scoop. We are dead. So, yep, that's a game. This feels like a super hard matchup. We can bring in the three relics, and that's pretty much all we have. I guess we go down three blood moons, which aren't <sighs> very good. And, I mean, that's it. Just hope for the best. We get to play first. All right, well, we got a relic. The rest of our hand is not super... Well, its hand's not bad. So, windswept teeth, crack it, get a forest, and relic. Pass the turn. Now we're hoping to get to Eternity Vessel sometime. Calling Tarn for our opponent. Cracks it. Well, get rid of Scalding Tarn. Opponent gets an island. And Serum Visions. Opponent passes. Land is good. Well, get rid of Serum Visions. Play Wooded Foothills. Crack it. Get a Forest. And Secure Tribe Elder. Pass the turn. Steam Vents for our opponent. Untapped. And there's Brawl. Now let's crack Secure Tribe Elder. Get a Forest. Draw a Forest. Wooded Foothills. Crack Wooded Foothills. Stomping Ground. Untapped. And Bolt Brawl. And Exile Brawl. Pass the turn. We're getting close to our big things. Another Brawl for our opponent. Now play Drown Yard Temple, pass the turn. Spire Bluff for our opponent. Gets in for one. Down to 14. Uh, we need one more mana before we even try to play anything. Here comes the Gifts. Yup. So we'll just mill Gifts and Desperate Ritual. And then hopefully we can Relic with Pass and Flames on the stack. Ritual. Manamorphos. Goblin Electromancer. Passed in flames. Now's the time to relic. Pona gets in. Hits us. Down to 13. Yeah, I mean, Primeval Titan? Gonna get countered. And now we're probably still just dead, even through the relic. Sleight of hand for our opponent. Yeah, we don't have much to fight combo decks. Green Red is miserable in those matchups. They have a million rituals. They have a Manamorphos. They have passed in flames in their graveyard, so that should be game. Million mana floating, a million spells. We'll let it run its course. We're not 100% dead, but we're 99.9 something percent dead. A very high percentage. There's the grape shot for lethal. Yup. Yeah, not gonna beat Storm too often. We just have very minimal interaction. All right, against the odds time, playing some aggressive mining in modern and this is pretty good i mean we got eternity vessel let's just stomping grounds untapped and arbor elf if it lives we get to get down a blood moon next turn which should be pretty helpful godless shrine untapped and fatal push all right no blood moon well windswept teeth crack it get a forest and get down our secure tribe elder pass the turn watery grave untapped Serum Visions. Come on, no discard, no discard. No discard if we get Blood Moon and it's going to be so good. Bottom, top. Well, let's sack Secure Tribe Elder. Get a Forest. This lets us play around a Mana Tithe. Windswept Teeth, crack it. Get a Forest. And Blood Moon. Good game. Opponent, playing Mono Red. <laughs> uh, 
Good luck casting your spells. Yep, polluted delta. More red mana. Uh, play Drown Yard Temple. Play Chandra. Take up Chandra. Uh, another Chandra. Hit our opponent to 14. Next turn, we get down Eternity Vessel at 16 life. Opponent passes. Well, we're going to take up... Well, play Drown Yard Temple. Take up Chandra. See what we hit. We could hit Aggressive Mining. More Blood Moons. Yeah, I guess we play the backup Blood Moon. That's probably more important. Pass the turn. Oh, we even have the combo. We just don't have aggressive mining. Opponent discarding the hand size. Take up Chandra. Opponent. All right, we hit a land. Oh, play the forest. Pass the turn. I don't think we want to show Eternity Vessel now because our opponent will probably sideboard for it. Plus, it does damage with Chandra if we ultimate. Ooh, opponent gets black mana. They get to play cards. I think it's too late, though, because we just ultimate Chandra. Ultimate Chandra. Play Arbor Elf. Five our opponent. Primal Command. <laughs> so brutal. Oh, uh, yep. There goes your one source of real mana. Down to two. Pass the turn. Opponent. Going aggro. <laughs> Down to 15. I'd like to draw a non-Eternity Vessel card to cast. Uh, well, get in with Arbor Elf. I think we can wait. I don't really... I don't want to show Eternity Vessel. Play the land, pass the turn. I just don't think there's any way we can get punished for this. And Eternity Vessel is such a unique card. I think it really hurts us if our opponent knows it's in our deck. Opponent hits us, down to 14. Ground near Temple. And this is pretty much uncounterable. So we don't really have to worry about things going wrong. Opponent plays a tap land. Gets in, 4-1. Down to 13. Oh my goodness. You're not making this easy, deck. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if we ha if we have to, we could just show Eternity Vessel at some point, but any non-land just wins us the game. Oh my goodness, deck! <laughs> uh, well, we're going to stop doing this eventually. I'd love to just draw like an Arbor Elf or something normal so our opponent doesn't know the combo. They haven't seen either combo piece. All right, that works. Well, that works in more ways than one. All right, there's the bolt to finish things off. Whoo! Well, we didn't have to show our combo and Blood Moon. Pretty good. Not really sure what's in our opponent's deck. Maybe get on Bolts for Relic of Progenitus and Beast Within and an Anger for Fulminator Mage. Try it like that. Uh, okay. We'll try this. I mean, we got Arbor Elf. If it dies, it's super annoying, but not a land. Well, crack this. Stomping Grounds untapped. Play Arbor Elf. Pass the turn. Watery Grave. Tapped. So we need this Arbor Elf to live, or we need to draw land. Marsh Flats. Opponent cracks it. They are fetching out duels. They are do not fear the Blood Moon. Jace. Okay. Come on, land. Well, this isn't really ideal, but it does get us to land eventually. Place a Cur Tribe Elder. Pass the turn. Blood Moon there is what we really wanted. Opponent plays a Flooded Strand. Loots with Jace. Discards Obsidat. Gets back Obsidat. Oh, goodness. Yeah, we really needed that Blood Moon last turn, not this turn. Here comes Obsidat. Well, let's block. Sack. Get a forest. Opponent cracks Flooded Strand. Gets an island. Certain Visions. Oh, opponent. Opponent messes up. Oh, no, they didn't. Yeah, they did! Woo! Punt! Punt! They exile it to Gorio's Vengeance, not stacking their triggers properly. Stomping Ground, oh my goodness, that punt is going to win us this game. If you play Obsidad's Vengeance, make sure to exile it to Obsidad's ability, not to Gorio's Vengeance ability. And now we kill the Jace. Opponent's got nothing. Oh my god. Uh, Punt City. Opponent plays the Jace. Fatal pushes our Arbor Elf. Well, now we just want to draw land for Primeval Titan. Fulminator. I don't think we want Jace to flip. Let's take up Chandra. Can't cast it. Anger of the gods. Get rid of the Jace. Pass the turn. Pieces of the puzzle. Does some digging. Celestial Purge and Thossies. Well, we get to Blood Moon, though. Play the Forest. Let's take up Chandra for mana. Play Fulminator. Play Blood Moon. Destroy a land. Pass the turn. And our post scoops it up! Woo! <laughs> well... That was mostly thanks to our opponent putting, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Whew, we didn't play any combo pieces, but Blood Moon, good way to get some wins. All right, against the odds time, trying to do some aggressive mining in modern. And we got our mining, got some ramp, 
Don't know how quickly we can play this without losing, though. There's a planes for our opponent and a uh, soul attendant. Well, forest, utopia sprawl on red. Pass the turn. I guess we can aggressive mining, draw some cards, and then kill it with Beast Within if we need to. Opponent plays the planes. Oy, a Johnny Pride mate going to be getting pretty big. Well, maybe we just got a Beast Within that. Opponent gets in for one. Or we draw Anger right here. What did Foothills? All right, pass the turn. Opponent plays the planes. Spectral Procession. Well, crack wooded foothills. Get a forest. Beast within the pride, mate. That's all we can really do. Not good for us still. Seems like a hard matchup if we don't draw into anger. Opponent gets in. Down to 17. Well, wooded foothills. Crack it. Get a forest. Play Bailoff. Gain some life. Get a blocker. Another planes for our opponent. Only two cards in hand. Gets in with the Flyers, yep, down to a low life total, 17. Smuggler's Copter, and oh dear. Well, Utopia Sprawl on red, attack with Obstinate Bailoff, play Wooded Foothills, crack it, get a forest, play Secure Tribe Elder, and pass the turn. Oh no, oh the nightmare, wow. Double Smuggler's Copter, yeah, I think that's game. I don't even know if we have outs that we can draw now, honestly. Opponent gets in with everything. We had outs when we had, before our opponent drew Ghost Quarter, but this is the disaster. Down to seven. There's the anger, but we can't cast it because our opponent drew Ghost Quarter. Yeah. Brutal, 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 brutal. Well, bring in the angers. Bring in the sudden shocks. Go down the blood moons, which do nothing. Maybe Vandal Blast Dismember. Yeah, let's try it like that. All right, we get to play first. Well, we got angers, and that's what we wanted. Opponent has planes, and soul attendant. Well, crack windswept teeth, stomping around, tapped. Forest, and secure tribe elder. Pass the turn. Planes for our opponent, and a pride mate. All right, so we probably just have to anger this turn. Opponent passes. Well, crack secure tribe elder. Grab a forest. What did foothills? Crack it. Stomping ground, untapped, and just anger away the dorks. Pass the turn. Martyr of Sands for our opponent, and passes. Well, stomping ground, tapped, pass the turn. Goes quarter. Not looking too good here. Cracks Martyr, goes up to 31. Plays Sarah Ascendant. Well, let's just beast within. Ooh, there's mining. Okay. Game on. So, play Drownyard Temple. Play aggressive mining. Sack Drownyard Temple. Draw a couple cards. There's Avenger. We just got to get the mana for it. We need to find some of our ramp. Pass the turn. Another Ghost Quarter for our opponent. Plays Honor of the Pure. Gets in. 4-3. Down to 13. <laughs> we draw a Forest. Well, get back Drown Your Temple. Sack it. Pass the turn. Still not a ton of action. Opponent gets in with the Beast. Down to 10. Plays a Soul Warden. And passes. We get another aggressive mining. Well, let's anger the gods. Pass the turn. Uh, Ponified squad. Oh, what a draw. Uh, now we got to find a third anger because they're just going to make a million hawks. Squadron hawk. We also really need to draw ramp cards. Opponent passes. No, there's third anger. Well, let's play obstinate Bailoff. Gain some life. Pass the turn. Ranger of Eos for our opponent. Tutor's up. Double Sarah Ascendant. Gets in. 4-2. Not looking good. Arbor Elf's not bad. 1-2-3. So, Anger of the Gods away our opponent's board. Get in with Obstinate Bailoff. Gets our opponent below 30. Play Arbor Elf. Pass the turn. Oh, we haven't been able to draw. We really... Man, we could draw... There's Sarah Ascendant. Sarah Ascendant. Opponent passes. We draw Wooded Foothills. Well, get back Drown Yard Temple. Sack Drown Yard Temple. Draw literal nothing. And I think that's game. Because we know our opponent has a path in hand. Jeez, look at this drawing. Opponent pass. We get a land. And now we die to Sarah Ascendance. Yeah, I don't think we have an out. That was unfortunate. Opponent gets in. Yep. Now we're dead next turn. On tap of forest. Get back Drown Yard Temple. Sack Drown Yard Temple. Draw more nothing. And more nothing. Oh my goodness. This is about as bad as it gets as far as draws. Get back Drown Yard Temple. Sack Drown Yard Temple. 
Draw nothing, and that's game. Whoo! Well, that seems like a hard matchup. Our Blood Moon plan doesn't do anything, and, uh, yeah. Yup, 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 yup. Alright, against the odds time, playing some aggressive mining in modern, and we'll give this a shot. Well, once up teeth, crack it, get a forest, and Arbor Elf, pass the turn. Opponent cracks it, Blood Crypt, tapped. Opponent, Flagstones, oh no, it's Smallpox, Young Pyromancer. Uh, play Stomping Grounds, tapped, pass the turn. If our opponent has Smallpox, it's so bad. Godless Shrine, untap, they have it. There's a Smallpox, discard Windswept Teeth, oh man, so brutal. And they discard a Lingering Souls, yup. Opponent gets a free land, thanks to Flagstones. Opponent gets in with Pyromancer. I'll play Wooded Foothills, pass the turn. Another Flagstones for our opponent. There's Lingering Souls. Yup, gets in for two. All right, well, we get to Anger, which is good. Crack Wooded Foothills, Stomping Grounds, tapped. Play Drown Yard Temple, and just Anger away the board. All right, pass the turn. Well, we're, we're sort of in this game. Uh, opponent has cracked the Earth, so we gotta sack our Drown Yard Temple. Huh? Opponent fails to find a planes. And a smallpox. Alright, discard eternity vessel. Sack a land. Well, now we need to draw lands just to get back to Yard Temple. That's a land. Alright, play wooded foothills, pass the turn. Opponent passes, we'll crack this, get a stomping grounds, tapped. Play a forest. Utopia sprawl the forest. On red. Pass the turn. Jeez, are we gonna win? Opponent finds a land, cracks it, gets a swamp. All right, well, get back to your Temple. Play Chandra. Take up Chandra for mana. And Sakura Tribe Elder. Jeez! We're kind of winning! We haven't got to play any combo pieces, but... Through a million smallpoxes. Another land for our opponent. Bedlam Reveler to discard and draw. Well, kill Bedlam Reveler. Get in with Sakura Tribe Elder. And pass the turn. We could use a, a finisher, a titan or something. Smuggler's Copter. Faith is looting. Well, let's crack this. Get a forest. Play Wooded Foothills. Crack Wooded Foothills. Get a forest. Take up Chandra. <laughs> uh, Trinity Vessel. Ten counters. Pass the turn. That's not bad. Now we just need our aggressive mining and we have the full combo. Opponent has Lingering Souls. Here comes Smuggler's Copter. Gonna kill our Chandra. Yep, gets to loot. Oh, come on, aggressive mining. One time. It would be so good here. Yep, Chandra dead. And a Thought Seize. Ay. Play Blood Moon. Pass the turn. We really need aggressive mining. Also, another Smuggler's Copter. And more Spirits. And we're actually pretty close to being dead. Opponent gets in. Hits us. For a bunch. We don't even have that many outs, really. With our angers gone. Discards a land. Drop to five. Play Windswept Teeth. Go up to ten. Play Arbor Elf. Pass the turn. We just never drew anything big. No Titans. No aggressive minings. And we're dead to Lightning Bolt. And our opponent gets about a million draws to find it. Uh, that was pretty unfortunate. Opponent loots. Loots. We drop to two, opponent passes, we draw nothing, and that's the game. Bring in the Angers, and go down Primal Command and Beast Within, try it like that. Alright, we're on the play, and we'll give this a shot. I mean, if our opponent doesn't have discard, we have turn two Blood Moon, or removal I guess. But Wooded Foothills, crack Wooded Foothills, get a Forest, and Arbor Elf. Cross our fingers that our opponent doesn't have discard. Blood Crypt, untapped, and here comes discard. Or Lightning Bolt. That's also good. Wooded Foothills. Pass the turn. We might not ever cast anything, though. Opponent has Faithless Looting. Land and Bloodgast discarded. Plays a land, gets back Bloodgast. Opponent passes. There's a land. That's good. So, Windswept Teeth. Crack Windswept Teeth. Get a Forest. Crack Wooded Foothills. Stomping Grounds. Untapped. And run out our Blood Moon. Opponent does get to get one basic land. Gets a swamp. Well, pass the turn. Opponent plays a tapped Sacred Foundry. 
And Young Pyromancer. Well, we need a red source. Maybe we should have fetched out another red source. Any land. Any non-forest land. Opponent gets in. Down to 13. We draw a 6 drop. Not very helpful. Opponent has Faithless Looting. Makes a token. Discards a bunch of Lingering Souls, which is pretty bad. Finds another base. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, now we might just be dead. Yup. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Opponent gets in, we drop to nine. This is insanely brutal. Well, we dropped to seven. There's our red source. A turn too late from winning us the game. Play a Bayloth, pass the turn, and die to our opponent's board. Opponent goes attacking. Well, block a token. Probably gonna get our Bayloth bolded, down to eight. Lingering Souls, flashback, makes even more tokens. Well, I mean, our opponent's just going for it. If we draw an Anger, it's so insanely good, but probably won't happen. It's a stomping ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's the game. Hmm. All right, well, we didn't get a single copy of Aggressive Mining that match. Would have been super sweet the first game. All right, against the odds time, doing some Aggressive Mining in Modern. And, I mean, we got our combo. <laughs> we have every combo piece. So Arbor Elf with Utopia Sprawl for some ramping. That gets us to aggressive mining. Hopefully Eternity Vessel. <laughs> we'll give it a try. Eh, yeah, we'll keep it. See what happens. Misty Rainforest for our opponent. Cracks it. Breeding Pool. And Utopia Sprawl. Interesting. Well, Stomping Grounds untapped. Play Arbor Elf. Pass the turn. We could use another forest there's a jace for our opponent come on land there's a forest all right play the forest play utopia sprawl on green tap it untap it tap it play chandra and we're just going to kill this jace and pass the turn opponent has hollowed fountain plays a forest well play drown yard temple play utopia sprawl on i guess red tap untap tap Play Eternity Vessel. Oh my goodness. Well, that's brutal. Opponent has Cryptic to bounce our Utopia Sprawl land. Plays a Courser. Oh, that's what this is. That's not good. Not good at all. Oh, play Wooded Foothills. Crack Wooded Foothills. Get a Forest. Uh, so now we're probably maybe dead. Add Mana. Play Eternity Vessel. 17 counters. Pass the turn. Opponent has my Kukuru. All right, they take an extra turn, but it's not a great extra turn. I guess it lets them kill Chandra. Opponent plays a Utopia Sprawl. Gets in with Courser, kills our Chandra. We draw a Forest. A oh, play Stomping Grounds, untapped. Gain our life back. Combo, it's a combo. Play Aggressive Mining. Opponent has another Cryptic. Okay, well I guess we get in for one. That only has two Cryptics, I think, so that's a little unfortunate. Another Courser on top. Another Utopia Sprawl. Fires up Treetop Village. Well, attacking doesn't really do anything. Because we just... <sighs> more Cryptics. Good golly. Well, it has more Cryptics than we thought. Gets in. Come on, big draw. Ooh, another Aggressive Mining. That's good. So play the Forest. Go back up to 17. Play Arbor Elf. Play Aggressive Mining. So combo assembled. Although, our opponent can bounce something with Cryptic. But let's get in with our Arbor Elf, pass the turn. See what our opponent draws. Land on top. So, I don't think they're going to be comboing this turn. Another Courser. Plays the land, games some life. Another Courser on top. Opponent. Gets in for two. Well, sack. Drown Yard Temple. Draw some useless lands. Get back Drown Yard Temple. Opponent lets it go. We gain a couple life. Sack Drown Yard Temple. There's a Blood Moon. That's helpful. We know our opponent has Cryptic. Yeah, I think we just pass and get back our Drown Yard Temple. Garrick on top. Well, they still don't have the combo. They do have a Cryptic, though. There's a Jace. Gains a couple life. Cracks, shuffles. Narset on top. Plays the Garrick. Untaps the land. Plays the Courser. And gets in. Well, we take it. Untap a Forest. Untap a forest. Get back Drown Yard Temple. Gain our life back. Sack Drown Yard Temple. Alright, that wasn't great. Well, let's place a Kura Tribe Elder and see what our opponent does. Nothing. Yeah, I think we bolt Garrick. And pass the turn. 
Opponent's just drawn too many cryptics. Draws a card. Island on top. We get another blood moon. Cryptic to bounce aggressive mining. Well, let's get back Drown Yard Temple. Sack Drown Yard Temple. Uh, opponent has time warp on top. I think that means we're dead. Discard a million lands. Yeah, two extra turn spells in a row on top means we're dead. The Band Turns deck is actually really good. And aggressive mining. Eh, super ultra jank. Yeah, I mean, Pony just gets a million extra turns, we lose. I don't even know if we have much that's good against this. Yeah, I mean, there's no there's no winning from here. Down to eight. Pony gets another extra turn, they have another extra turn in their hand. They can rebound that extra turn spell with Narset, so they get even more extra turns. Yep, that's game. I mean, we could play it out, but they just do this a million times and we die. Uh, do we have anything that's helpful in this matchup? I mean, I guess another Beast Within is okay. Uh, Anger of the Gods isn't good. Relic is fine. Lightning Bolt isn't especially good. Try like that. Okay. I mean, we can give this a shot. It's definitely not insane by any stretch. But Stomping Grounds, Untapped, Utopia Sprawl, on green, and Pass of the Turn. Opponent plays a forest and an arbor elf. Well, let's play Sakura Tribe Elder, play Drown Yard Temple, pass the turn. Uh, opponent has Utopia Sprawl, so much mana. Yeah, opponent untaps. Spreading Seas our Drown Yard Temple. They should have probably hit our Utopia Sprawl land, but okay. That's fine too. Opponent draws a card, plays a Misty, cracks the Misty. Well, cracks this, grab a forest. Primeval Titan. Well, let's Utopia Sprawl our forest on red. And then Obstinate Bailoff, pass the turn. Opponent plays a Courser, Courser on top, Misty, and passes. Well, let's get in with Bailoff. Play Relic, Crack Relic, play Stomping Grounds, Untapped, play Aggressive Mining, pass the turn. Well, let's see if we're dead. Opponent shuffles away Courser. Temple Garden, Jace on top. Untaps. Celestial Purge. Well, let's sacrifice, draw a couple cards. There goes Aggressive Mining. Opponent has Time Warp on top, so bad things start to happen next turn. Taps, untaps, or maybe they start happening this turn. Jace. And an Arset. And a tap land. Gains a life. Gets the Time Warp in hand. Another Time Warp on top. Yeah, I don't know if we can win from here. We get Eternity Vessel. Well, attack Narset. Opponent takes it. Windswept Teeth. Crack Windswept Teeth. Grab a Forest. And, I mean, play Primeval Titan, but I don't think that does it. We will get Drown Yard Temple and Stomping Ground. Tapped. Pass the turn. Uh, opponent has Cryptic, too. Yeah, they can just take one, two, three, four, four turns in a row and tap our team with Cryptic. So opponent gets two turns. Gets to loot with Jace. Discards the Cryptic. Well, maybe we're not dead. It depends on what's on top of our opponent's deck. There's the time warp. Extra turn. So we can flip Jace, take an extra turn. Another land on top. Another cryptic on top. Ticks up, gets the cryptic. Land on top. Ticks up the Jace. Arbor Elf. Well, our opponent maybe is planning on tapping our team. Now we should lose. Ticks up, gets an extra turn spell. <laughs> Uh, maybe they just have all the extra turn spells in a row on top of their deck. Yeah, that's a uh, very easily game now. Ain't no winning from here. Extra turn for our opponent. They have at least two more coming. And they get to tap down our team with Cryptic. Man turns is pretty good. There you go. Bounces, gets a Nissa. Takes up Chase. Yeah, I mean, that's just game. Game, game, game. Opponent gets in. Untaps. Plays a land. Cracks Misty. I mean, I think we should just scoop. But we'll let our opponent do their thing. Hopefully they just do it soon. Yep, gets another extra turn. Yep, 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 yep. Because they just hit us for damage, then they play an ultimate Nissa. Hit us for 10. Taps and taps, taps. Oh, well, they... Yeah, all right. We're going to scoop. That's four more extra turns. So not really any sense in continuing. Well, aggressive mining. All right, against the odds time. Trying to do some aggressive mining in modern with eternity vessel well forest utopia sprawl on forest on red and pass the turn black leave cliffs for our opponent and inquisition to take our anger of the gods so probably jund we draw more anger of the gods play winds of the pass the turn 
a raging ravine for our opponent. And Thawsees. <laughs> yup. There goes our primal command. Well, crack our winds up, Teeth. We'll grab a stomping ground, tapped. Well, that was a good draw. That was a very good draw. Blood Moon our opponent. Play the forest. Pass the turn. Now we have a bit of time. Parnet opponent. <laughs> well, not much aggressive mining, but. <laughs> Pony has double discard. We top deck Blood Moon or post scoops. That's the that's the most Blood Moon thing to to do to a match. Oh, so good. I think we're just gonna run it back and hope that that happens again. Uh, Zero Lander, gotta ship that one. Well, we'll keep Utopia Sprawl. We do have our combo with Drownyard Temple. Opponent leads on Thoughtseize. Arbor Elf or Aggressive Mining. Takes Aggressive Mining. Well, Wind Swept Teeth, crack it. Grab a Forest and Arbor Elf. Pass the turn. So we have lots of mana. Hopefully we draw into big things to cast, like Blood Moon. Opponent cracks for Catacombs. They're probably going to search out Basics. Yep, gets a Forest. Plays a Goyf. Going to be difficult to beat. Well, Utopia Sprawl on Red... Windswept Teeth, crack Windswept Teeth, get a Forest, Utopia Sprawl on Red. Pass the turn. Opponent gets in. Down to 15. Scavenging Ooze. Come on, deck. Stomping Ground tapped. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Pass the turn. Opponent finds a Raging Ravine. Gets in for five. We're down to 10. Well, we've drawn the all-ramp half of our deck. If we had aggressive mining, it would have been much better. Another ooze. Come on, deck. That's Primeval Titan. That sort of gives us a shot. Play Drownyard Temple. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Play Primeval Titan. What? Our opponent scoops it up? <laughs> oh, and you think I'm an early scooper. Well... I don't even know. I think we were still essentially dead. Like, do they not have a terminate in their deck? Even if they do, they're going wider than us. We got nothing in hand. We're just searching up Drownyard Temples. It's not like we got any good lands to search up. So, well, we'll take it. It's been a rough week, but we'll take all the... F all right, against the odds time, playing some aggressive mining in modern. And we'll try this, missing the mining, but we potentially have turn to Blood Moon, which might buy us enough time to find our aggressive mining, hopefully. Razor Verge they get for our opponent, and ooh, Expedition Map, all right. What did Foothills crack it? Get a Stomping Grounds, untapped. Tap, untap, tap, and Blood Moon. That's the card we really need. Opponent plays, Power Plant. Cracks Expedition Map, come on deck. Some sort of big thing. Opponent gets a forest. Well, tap on tap, tap. Blood Moon, part two. Stomping Grounds, tapped. Pass the turn. Forest for our opponent. And Ancient Stirrings, going digging. Gets a Chromatic Star. Play Star. And passes. Come on, deck. Well, Primeval Titan is good. Play Sakura Tribe Elder. Play Wooded Foothills. Get in for one with the Arbor Elf. I mean, that does give us a clock. We'll have to see whether or not that's... It's a, enough? Oblivion Stone could still get us. Bona has a land. And has Oblivion Stone, of course. And that's probably just game. Get a forest. Play Drownyard Temple. Get in with Arbor Elf. I mean, what do we even do? Play Primeval Titan. I guess we play stuff. We don't win by not doing anything. But we also don't win by doing anything. We're just going to get two fetch lands, thin our deck a bit, pass the turn. Does our opponent have a land? They do. So that means they can Oblivion Stone. There's Oblivion Stone activation. Opponent gets to draw a card. Come on, deck. We're going to stop on our upkeep, crack a fetch, get a forest, crack a fetch, get a forest, draw more lands. Well, we get to play Eternity Vessel. Well, let's see if our opponent has Tron. They don't, but they have Ancient Stirrings to find it. Gets another Power Plant. Well, that's not Tron yet. Plays the Power Plant. Opponent passes. We draw. Anger. Probably better known as the deadest of dead cards. Pass the turn. Opponent has Sanctum Vugan. And here comes Karn. Oh, World Breaker. Well, that's still pretty lethal. Well, let's crack this. 
Might as well take advantage of our combo. Boom. Untap Shock Land. Oh, you think we lost three life? No. <laughs> oh, with aggressive mining, you gotta you gotta take the little victories. Sure, we're probably getting crushed by Tron, but we just cracked a fetch land and got a shock for free. So opponent passes. A lightning bolt. Add that to the dead card pile. Play a forest, pass the turn. Chromatic sphere for our opponent. We are really good at not drawing aggressive minings. We have all the mana and like a lot of what we're trying to do, but we just don't have don't have the aggressive mining to combo with our drown yard temple. Well, I mean I guess we anger the gods and lightning bolt the worm coil. Another another nice small victory. <laughs> we're getting killed, but we killed a worm coil. Good job, aggressive mining. Opponent plays a land. Another world breaker. Kills one of our lands. And yeah. There's no no cards in our deck that do anything here. Oh, aggressive mining. Opponent gets in with World Breaker. Yep, down to five. Primeval Titan, good magic card. But along with every other card in our deck, <laughs> not helpful in that situation. Uh, okay, well, Fulminators come in. Beast Within comes in. Uh, Vandal Blast might come in. Lightning Bolts, we go down. It might just be... Eternity Vessel? It just, it gets wrecked by what our opponent's doing. We do have a lot of land destruction. All right, we get to play first. Well, I mean, this is kind of what we're hoping for. Pony has Leyline of Sanctity. Play a forest, Utopia Sprawl, our forest. On red, pass the turn. Opponent leads on a forest, and Nature's Claims Utopia Sprawl. All right, that slows us down with the Blood Moon. Play a Stomping Grounds, tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a tower and an expedition map and an ancient stirrings. It's chromatic star. We draw a vandal blast. We'll play a forest and a blood moon. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks the map. Gets another Tron piece. Plays the Tron piece. Plays a map. We get a land. Well, let's kill expedition map. Play Windswept Eve, pass the turn. We could use a threat. Opponent plays Chromatic Star, cracks it, digging for land, and naturalize, spicy. Well, let's crack this, get a land out of our deck. Stomping Grounds, tapped. Well, play Drown Yard Temple, play Blood Moon Part 2, pass the turn. Come on, aggressive mining! One time, just let us draw it back. Opponent gets Chromatic Star, cracks it. Finds another Tron piece. We draw Fulminator Mage. Well, that's not a bad draw. Play Fulminator, play Forest. Pass the turn, see what our opponent does. Opponent passes. Well, Obson and Bayloth. That's another actual threat. Get in with Fulminator. Still have not drawn our namesake Aggressive Mining. Play Bayloth, pass the turn. Opponent finds Brushland and passes we draw land well let's go attacking hit our opponent down to 12 destroy a land pass the turd sylvan's crying opponent's gonna grab a land another tron piece we draw utopia sprawl well get in with bayloth play a forest utopia sprawl the forest pass the turn hope our opponent can't worm coil expedition map cracks it gets a tower Plays the tower. What do we draw? Anger. I'll get in with Bayloth. So pass the turn. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. Beast within Earth is mine. Hope our opponent doesn't have land off the top for a worm coil. Chromatic star. Cracks it. Adds green. And are we going to get a win against Tron? I mean, we got to go for it. Anger of the gods? Get in for Xaxes? <sighs> All right, well, I mean, we stole a win, which is pretty sweet. Still did not draw aggressive mining this entire match. No matter how hard we try, we just don't draw it. Uh, yeah, I mean, this hand plays stuff, but we have nothing that's good against Tron. All right, I mean, this is better-ish. We will also keep Fulminator. Opponent plays a mine, and still no aggressive mining. Passes. Well, Forest... Utopia Sprawl on red. Pass the turn. Opponent, power plant. 
and passes. Well, Stomping Grounds untapped. Play Fulminator. Kill the Power Plant. Pass the turn. Opponent has more Power Plants. And Chromatic Star. We draw. Uh, what do we do? Let's play Windswept Teeth. Pass the turn and just Beast Within the Power Plant. So destroy the land. Two Power Plants down. Opponent had, well, they had Tron too. Good God. We'd love to just draw land for this Primal Command. Sakur Tribe Elder. Well, play Sakur Tribe Elder. Crack Windswept Teeth. Get a Forest. Play Sakur Tribe Elder. Pass the turn. If our opponent just has a third power plant, I might cry. Cracks the star. Plays a mine. All right. Plays a star. Well, cracks a Kerr Tribe Elder. Get a forest. Well, let's primal command. Put tower on top. Search for a creature. Huh. Opponent randomly playing Warping Whale. I don't think they have any idea what our deck's doing, but okay. Cracks the star. Green mana. Nature's Claim Utopia Sprawl. No attacks. Alright, we'll wait. We'll play Blood Moon. Play Wooded Foothills. Pass the turn. Still keeping our streak of never drawing aggressive mining. Going strong. Opponent top decks Tron, but we got a Blood Moon down. Come on, big finisher. One time deck. One time. Just once. That's all we're asking. Come on, deck. All right, all right, all right, all right, that counts. We need lands to go with it, but that's Avengers Endicar. That's a, that's a big thing to put on the board. If we draw land, it's even a bigger thing. Pass the turn. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, beating Tron. We still haven't drawn aggressive mining, though. Sanctum of Ugin. Opponent's up to five mana. All of it red. Primeval Titan would be the nuts. Opponent passes. Well, get in with Avenger. We drew an Arbor Elf. Still no aggressive mining. Hit our opponent to 15. Play Arbor Elf. Pass the turn. Opponent, another land. Up to Worm Coil mana. Opponent passes. Well, Secure Tribe Elder works. Play Secure Tribe Elder. Tack with everything. Opponent blocks Arbor Elf. Well, sack Secure Tribe Elder. Get a forest. Pump the dorks. Yes, please, Avenger. Hit our opponent. Down to three. Oh, this is it. This is it. What does our opponent draw? What do, what do they find? They had nothing last turn. Chromatic Sphere. Cracks it. Chromatic Star. Cracks it. Come on. We'll take it, even without the aggressive mining. And our opponent scoops it up. Wow. Well, we are horribly bad at drawing aggressive minings, but the combination of land destruction and blood moon... Was good enough to take down Tron. Sweet. So what do we learn this week about aggressive mining in modern? And overall, it was kind of a rough one in more ways than one. So as far as our record, we finished with seven matches. We won three, which is like 42%. And as far as games, we got in 15. We won six, which is exactly 40%. So... As far as against the odds decks go, over the history of the series, that's about average-ish. But I was mostly disappointed because we never really got to do anything too crazy with aggressive mining. Most of our wins were because of our other stuff. Blood Moons, especially, but Primeval Titans, Chandras, and aggressive mining, while it occasionally drew us cards, and we even did get to assemble our combo at some points where we we could sack the Drown Yard Temple, get back the Drown Yard Temple, trigger Eternity Vessel, draw some cards. Like, we did get to pull off the loop, but that loop never actually was game winning because eventually our opponent just figured out a way to win through that. And the downside of aggressive mining is super real, and it's even more real once you start playing with it. It was super frustrating, I guess, to get down aggressive mining, draw a bunch of cards, have most of those cards be lands, be unable to cast any of those cards, and just have all this card advantage for no reason. It felt like on paper, like, oh, we can play a bunch of ramp stuff, and that gets around aggressive mining. We can still play our Sakura Tribe Elder, get some lands to sack, play Primeval Titans, Arbor Elves, and Utopia Sprawl, so we still have ways to keep making mana, keep finding our lands, even with aggressive mining on the battlefield, but in practice, it didn't always work out that way, and we drew a lot of lands, and just our aggressive mining didn't do as much as we wanted, so I don't know. I can't be too disappointed, because... 
We tried something really different with a journey vessel, and we did get games where we assembled the lock. The lock wasn't good enough to win those games necessarily, but we did do it, and I think I'm happier with that. I'd rather have a middling to poor performance with this, I guess, unique build with Eternity Vessel than to have just played aggressive mining as the top end of a burn deck or something, which just seems incredibly boring. And that's the other thing you could do, but I didn't. I really wanted to avoid just being a strictly worse version of a deck like Burn or another known deck, Mono Red Aggro with Goblin Guides or something, and like, oh, I can draw some more burn spells and hopefully kill you. So, I don't know. It was not that competitive, but Aggressive Mining is actually a super challenging card to make work because the drawback is huge. After playing with Aggressive Mining, I think that they could have printed the card without the top text, and it probably would still be somewhat borderline. I think Dex would play it, but if it was just sack a land to draw two cards, only do this once a turn, I think that card would be printable and wouldn't be too busted. So, I don't know. The extra drawback of not being able to play lands makes it super, super challenging. And while we did come up with a sweet synergy with Eternity Vessel, with Drownyard Temples, our Avenger of Zendikar to keep continually triggering landfall and drawing cards, it's it's just far away from being competitive. The pieces are expensive. And the other thing with aggressive mining, after playing it for a while, we have other things that almost do what aggressive mining does without the drawbacks. There's four mana enchantments in red that just draw us an extra card every turn. And while that's not the same as drawing two cards, when you consider all the drawbacks of aggressive mining, it's probably better just to play an outpost siege or something, or even a planeswalker. Chandra, we had a couple, or Chandra, Pyromaster. There's a lot of options in that slot to generate card advantage, and aggressive mining, because of the drawback, is way, way down on the list and even after spending days trying to build around it and brew around it I couldn't really find any competitive level synergy that would really make aggressive mining be the right card for that slot we have janky synergies like eternity vessel like somehow sacking all of our lands and donating it with harmless offering but there's not really any tier or competitive synergies at this point, maybe that can change in the future. Maybe something can happen to push aggressive mining to the forefront because drawing to a turn is powerful, but right now the cards just don't exist to make it work or make it into a really like spiky competitive combo. So I think right now, Aggressive Mining is a fun card, and you could do cool stuff with it. Our Eternity Vessel Drown Your Temple loop kind of shows that. Avengers Endicar, some of the pieces you can use, but as far as winning tournaments or anything, it is a ways away from where it needs to be. Anyway, that's better against the odds deck for this week. Eternal Mining for Modern. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.